Hello everybody and welcome back on my channel. My name is Alex and today we'll continue to make the components for the ratchet we started in the last tutorial. And this will be the ratchet and we have here the shaft. These two will make them today, these two components. So let's start with, let's start with this shaft. First let's open any part, select the part, press OK. And now let's make this plain white. And here we'll start a sketch in the front plane. So click on the front plane, select your sketch. And now let's select circle. We'll have to make here two circles. Just like this. And now with smart dimension, let's define them. First, the big one will have the diameter 50 millimeters. And this one will have the diameter 42 millimeters. Okay, and now we'll go to features, we'll use extruded boss base command, and here instead of blind, we'll select mid plane, and then here the length will be 290 millimeters. Press it OK, and now it's almost done. Now we'll have to make a chamfer here on this edge, so select from fillet from here, we'll select chamfer, and here the dimension for this chamfer will be 3 millimeters. Ok, and the angle will be 45 degrees. Select this edge and press here OK. Nice, and now we have to open a sketch in the front plane. Not in the front plane, in the top plane. Ok, and here we'll make a circle. Let's make it like this. And with smart dimension let's define this circle. First, the diameter will be 22 millimeters, and then from this point to this edge, here will be 35 millimeters, and then to fully define this, we'll have to select these two center points and select here make vertical. And now go to features, use extruded cut. And now this is in the middle of this shaft and we want it to make a hole on this side and on this side also. So instead of blind here, we'll select through all both. Both mean both sides. Up and down. And now press OK. And now we have to make another hole. For this we'll open a sketch in the right plane this time. OK, and we'll make another circle. This one will be smaller. Let's start by making these two points horizontal. And now it's smart dimension, let's give a diameter. This will have the diameter 12 millimeters. And the distance from this point to this edge, here will be 20. This will be the hole for the handle. Now go to features and let's do the same thing. Extrude that cut. And instead of blind through all both, press OK. Nice. And now we'll have to make another cut here. Let's open a sketch in the top plane. And here let's select center rectangle. And let's make here a rectangle like this. And then we'll select this center point with this one and make them vertical. And now it's smart dimension, let's fully define this rectangle. Here will be 6 millimeters. This line here will have 75. And now from this line to this edge, here will be 50 millimeters. Nice, and we only want this extruded cut on one side, so it's either up or down doesn't matter. Go to features and use extruded cut. And we can leave it like this, blind, or we can select through all, or up to next, will be the same. I will keep it through all, and press it OK. Nice. And now this is the shaft. Let's uh, apply some material to it. So right click here on material, edit material will be the same as in the last tutorial, this one from steel, and click here apply, and close. Now let's 
save it. I'll save it on my desktop again. So this will be the shaft. Okay. And now let's make the next part which will be the ratchet. Ratchet will be this one. And first we'll make a cylinder. And then we'll make this profile for the teeth. And we'll cut it from that cylinder. Let's begin. So first we'll have to open a new part. And select your part, press your OK. Let's make this plain white so we can see it better. And now we'll open a sketch in the front plane. And here we'll start with two circles. Ok, make them concentric. And now with smart dimension let's define them. So first this one will have the diameter 90 millimeters. And the small one will have the diameter 50 millimeters. And now we'll go to features, we'll use extruded boss base command and here we can keep it mid plane or whatever, it doesn't really matter, I will keep it mid plane and here the thickness will be 16, press your ok and I'll have to make the profile for the teeth so we can cut it out from this part. For this we'll open a sketch on this face. And now let's make a center line. Actually, you don't need it. You don't need this, but I already made it. Okay, and now let's select line and let's make here the next sketch. Something like this, so one line like this, one like this. And now let's select center point arc, or better, let's convert this edge. Yep, we'll convert it. So select convert entities command and here we'll select this edge. Press it OK. And now with trim entities command we'll cut this extra part of the circle. We don't need it, we only need this part of the circle, this arc. And with smart dimension let's define it. First this line here will have 11 millimeters. And then from this line to this one, here will be 75 degrees. And this is fully defined. Now what we'll have to do is to multiply this around this, around this part, around this circle. Let's go to linear sketch pattern, click on this arrow and from here we'll select circular sketch pattern. Here we'll have to select this sketch. And as we can see we have 4 instances and we need 12 of them. We'll go here, we can either edit here and write 12 or we can press and change from here. And we'll also have 12. Here will be 360 degrees, equal spacing. And that's it, press your OK. And now let's go to features, we need to cut this. Out. So select extruded cut. We can leave it here like this, 16, or we can select here through all or up to next. I'll keep it up to next and press here OK. Nice, and this is almost done. All we'll have to do now is to make a chamfer on this edge. So we can select this edge, go here to fillet, select from here to chamfer. And this dimension for this chamfer will be 3 millimeters and 45 degrees. This is OK. And this is it. Now let's apply some material to this part also. So right click here, edit material. And we'll select the same material for all these parts and apply material. Close. And that's it. Let's save it. My desktop, this will be the ratchet. Nice. So this was for today. This was the tutorial for today. These are the next two components from the ratchet. And I hope to see you in the next tutorial where we're really gonna make the next components and at the end the assembly. Thank you and see you next time.
Yeah, yeah.